When you think about scale, normally you don't associate it necessarily with a 3D CAD model, but uh, if you're building something in real life, right, most time you're gonna have hard dimensions they are gonna say, hey, this bathtub here is six feet long or five feet long, it's a couple feet wide. And you're not gonna say like, let's just make a bathtub for a really big guy and just make it like twice as big or scale it twice as big. Now in like 3D animation and things like that, scale is used all the time, right? They're gonna take like a little character, they're gonna make it really big, they're gonna make it really small. That's a very common thing to do in things that are not in the concrete world. But what really does happen in the real world with scale is something like shrink factor. So if you're gonna be molding a part, uh, or thermal forming apart, it might have a shrink factor to the plastic. And maybe that shrink factor is like 2%, right? It's a very small amount. But what I have to do is I have to build this part a little bit bigger first. So I have to scale it up a couple percent. So then when the final part is built, it's gonna be back to the original size. So that's how you might use scale. Um, and over here, if I have the, uh, if I'm under the model tab at the top here, I have scale, so I can click on scale part. Right, and I can choose if I want to have a uniform scaling, non-uniform, or a mirror type of scale. So a couple different options there. Right, but uniform is pretty much what you'd probably use most of the time. Um, and we're going to transform about the origin. And then here's your scale factor. So let's, let's just get crazy first. Let's make it like two, right? So click OK. I just made this thing twice as big. So really straightforward, right? Just type in how big you want it and hit scale and bam, there you go. But more than likely, instead of a 2% or you know 200% scaling factor, you might, you're gonna do something like a 1.02, like a very small scale factor, which is just gonna make the bathtub just a little bit bigger so it would handle whatever that shrink factor is, something like that. So again, you can put any value you want there. You can make it big, you can make it small, um, and it's a straightforward tool, but definitely quite helpful.